It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer, a Christmas beer. Uh, seeing as we're in December now, I might as well kick off the Christmas beer. It's by Stroud Brewery and it's the Ding Dong Mulled Porter coming in at 4.5% ABV. May have had something from the Stroud Brewery a long time ago, but um, I'll have to have a look at my uploads to see what beer it was. Uh, but yeah, it's a bottle condition beer. The beer was kindly sent to us by Beers of Europe.co.uk. They sent us the 12 beers of Christmas, so check them out on their website. Um, yeah, let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So we have a red bottle cap. Beer in the glass. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. So a mulled porter. I'll give the description later on. I don't want to give too much away to myself or you guys, the viewing audience, because, oh look at that, it's bottle conditioned. We'll try and work out what it is first ourselves and then we'll dig into what exactly we got in the glass later on. But a mulled porter, I imagine, I imagine, um, uh, mulled is like a stewed, it's got lots of different things stewing in it. It doesn't necessarily mean to warm up. My mind was initially thinking, does it need to be warmed up? But I very much doubt that with beer. Uh, nice level of the carbonation, a little bit of yeast floating around in the glass. Should have kept a bit of that out, but I'm a little bit ring rusty. It's been a while. Um, so we have a dark brown ale. It looks more like a mild than a, than a porter, but let's get the aroma on this. It's got a little one finger head. Smells really good. It smells like Christmas. It smells like, it does smell a little bit like, like figgy and berry and. Maybe a little bit of kind of spruce or something in there. Let's dive in, cheers. Yeah, it's really good. Very drinkable, very nice, nicely carbonated. A real Christmas drink, a real... It's quite hoppy on the back end, it's quite bitter, but it's got... I'm trying to work it, it's, it's some kind of... It's like a spruce or a, or a berry or... A tad smoky, a little bit of raisin in there. I think there might be a tad of lemon and ginger in there as well. It's a lovely beer, fair play, it's a really tasty beer and it's really refreshing also. The beer's got enough carbonation to kind of push it around the inside of the mouth and, and really release all of them big kind of Christmassy flavours. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a Christmas cake. It's, there's a little bit of toffee in there, a bit of caramel. It's not bad at all. Let's give, let's, let's find out exactly what's in this beer. I think I'm going to kick myself with some of these flavours. <coughs> Uh, strawberries and actually got pretty high. Uh, water, organic malt, uh, barley malt, organic wheat malt, organic hops, organic spices, and they're not really giving out what what spices they are. But it is it tastes typically of a maybe some ginger as a spice, maybe some kind of pepper, maybe as a spice. That's it. So I got the ginger bit right. Cinnamon. That's what it was. It was cinnamon all along. I was thinking, I've, I've, I know this flavour. I know this flavour, but it's cinnamon, and that's it, that's a very typical Christmas ingredient. So rating them from the strawberry ding dong, mulled porter. Yeah, 
yeah, it's really good. Really good beer. Um, very drinkable. Um, it's an absolute delight this time of year. Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Check it out, beersofyourlip.co.uk. Please comment, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.